Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. With pleasure and with joy in my heart, I will convey to you another message. This is like a, a motive that uh, repeats itself all the times when I do my messages. And I love it. Now, if you wonder what I'm gonna talk about, get ready because I will talk about something that all of us we need now and then. Maybe not every day, but uh, we definitely need now and then encouragement. Encouragement. And of course, as you know me, I won't point you to any other direction but towards God. Because from there you can take your encouragement. Yes, my friends. Okay, began. Amico. And uh, any other terms of friends in any language that you might think of. If you want a true, genuine encouragement, you will find it only to God in His Word. I have for you 14 Bible verses. Bible verses for when you need encouragement. Bible verses for when you fall uh, down. And uh, sometimes you feel like it's better if you still down there. And uh, you take a deep breath and you say, Shall I rise up? Shall I walk again? Shall I put one step again and again, one after another? In those moments when you feel like you cannot rise, I have these verses for you. 14 Bible verses. On a background, uh, as I got you used with uh, exotic, beautiful music, this time uh, Vietnamese music, Christian music, of course. Let's read the Word of God. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord not in your friends not in anyone else. The trust that we have in people is a trust that will fall short my friends. The trust that we have in human beings, faulty, like us, we are all for short of the glory of God, remember that. And we are all imperfect and we can all disappoint each other. Trust in the Lord. But not a, just a mental trust, but a trust with everything that you are, with all your heart, with all your being. Do not lean on your own understanding. What do we understand really? We are so limited. We struggle to understand what love is. We struggle to understand what our identity is. We try and we struggle to understand what's the best way to raise our children. What's the best way to interact with others. We struggle in many, many ways to understand basic things about life. So uh, why should we lean on our own understanding? Lean on God's word. Acknowledge God. And uh, me and you, we will have direction. He will direct our path. Psalm 34, verses 16 to 17. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. You are righteous. You will understand what? That the righteous uh, is a word that, that defines you walking in holiness, you walking in submission. Doesn't mean perfection. We are not perfect. We will fall short. We will make mistakes. Sadly, this is our nature. This is our humanity. We ha all have a common denominator. I said it many times. And this common denominator is to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But... If we cry out to the Lord, He will hear and He will deliver us out of all our troubles. Claim this promise. Claim these two promises that I already read to you for your life. Claim them, believe them, and they will become reality. You and me, we will be delivered from all our troubles, no matter what troubles you might have. Do you have troubles in your relationship? Do you have troubles at your work? Do you have troubles with your... Uh, close family members whatever it is trust in the Lord 
be righteous. That means, with other words, listen to the voice of God. Walk according to His commandments and He will listen. And He will deliver you. And He will deliver me. Praise be to God. John chapter 16 with verse 33. These things I have spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer. Rejoice with other words. Tribulation. We will all have a near. We live in this uh, system of the world which is broken. In this system of the world in which uh, problems arise in the right and in the left. Why is that? Because everything sadly is broken. Humanity when through Adam decided to sin, they cut short that sweet connection that was in the Garden of Eden. And now, even now, we pay consequences. But I rest assured, when the Lord will come back, He will restore everything. But this is uh, the subject of a different preaching, isn't it? John. 14 verse 27 peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives give i to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid we have peace in the word of god we have peace in our relationship with jesus we don't have no reason to be afraid we don't have no reason to be troubled. If every day we will claim God's promises in our life, if every day we will spend serious time in the Word, if we will make the best out of the time that has been given to us, don't forget that all of us, we have an allotted time here. It doesn't last forever and it can end any time. In my mind comes this uh, sad occurrence in which uh, the Thai lady, a YouTuber, she was uh, live doing a video and then she had a heart attack and she died in front of everyone that was watching her. Life here is not forever, my friend. Do the best that you can with what you have today. Leave it for God. Spend time in sweet fellowship with the Lord and you will be fully equipped to walk the walk and to talk the talk. Deuteronomy 31 with 6 Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He it is that does go with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Yes, we have problems in this life. Whoever says that uh, doesn't have problems, uh, well, it's an exception. Or does it exist? <laughs> this kind of situation. Whoever says that they never had any problem, I think is lying. No, problems are interwoven with the system of this world. We all will have problems at a certain time in our life. But the Lord is with us. He goes with us. And He will not fail us. He will not forsake us. Run to the Lord when you have heavy heart. When you feel like you're falling down, when you feel like you're broken inside, run to the Lord. Run to Him. Don't run to people. Don't run to nothing else but God. And keep His promises close to your heart, close to your mind. Psalm chapter 9, with verse 9 to 10. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble and they that know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken them that seek you. Take this promise. If you don't remember others, at least this. He will not forsake you. Because you seek him. He will not forget about you. Because your mind and your soul is centered to the Lord and you look for the Lord and you want to be with the Lord in sweet fellowship every single day. Isn't this wonderful? Look for the Lord. He will never forsake you. He promised that. 
I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And as a final Psalm 23 with 4 to 5, yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Trust in the Lord every single step of your life, no matter if you walk in a dark, deep and troubled situation you are in that shadow of death but you're not in death it's just a shadow don't be afraid of shadows don't be afraid of shadows keep your mind keep your soul focused on god trust in him with mind soul and spirit and he will be with you he will direct your path he will deliver you. He, the other verse says that if my way in your way is pleasant to the Lord, He will even make your enemies as your friends. He will change the heart of people that you interact with. But be uh, faithful and I talk to you and to me. Let's be faithful to God. Let's be submissive. Let's listen to His voice. Let's practice His word. Let's spend time in sweet fellowship with Him. How can we listen and hear the word that the Lord is speaking to us if we do not come to Him, if we do not pray, if we do not read His word that we find in the Bible. No matter what language you use, maybe you are Filipino and you use Tagalog, Bisaya, Pampanga, Ilocano, Ilongo, <laughs> and any other language that they speak in, uh, in this uh, vast uh, uh, 3,562 islands. No matter your nationality, no matter where you come from, but read the Word of God. It has power. God bless you all. Thank you so much for uh, always coming and I hope uh, together we can make a difference, isn't it? We help each other. God bless you. I love you. And uh, up to next time, put your trust in the Lord. Amen.